So I want to bring this up here because this is a picture of the core uh, of the body. You, 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 talk, you hear people talking about, oh, we got to strengthen your core, you got to strengthen your core. But this is the main portion of the core. And what I want you to see here, first of all, let's look at the what most people understand is the core. They definitely understand that the back and the abdo abdomen is part of the core. And what this is showing here are the deepest of those muscles. So you have several layers. It's not just your six pack. You know, you've got the obliques and um, you've also got the transverse abdominus. And you'll see the transversus abdominus is the deepest of the abdominal muscles. And it, the muscle fibers run opposite of where the six pack runs, right? So the six pack, it goes up and down the muscle fibers. Here it goes across like a belt, like a belt around your body, but it's like a huge belt. Okay. And so that's part of the reason why it's such an essential part of the core is it really locks in uh, the abdomen, which is the most vulnerable part of our body. That's why um, animals will not tend to show their belly, you know, expose their belly unless they feel really comfortable around someone because that's your most vulnerable part. The multifidus is the deepest of the back muscles, okay? And these two, there's been multiple studies showing how these two work together in conjunction in terms of providing a really strong core, the multifidus and the transversus abdominis, the deepest of the back muscles and the deepest of the abdominal muscles. But also, look here, the diaphragm and the floor, uh, the, uh, the muscles of the pelvic floor. Okay, and you see how they mirror each other and create almost like a, a cage, you know, that um, supports all of this. These two are really essential when it comes to your bedroom performance. Um, and let's start with the diaphragm here. So let's look at this picture. So this picture here is showing the arterial flow that's going on through the body, primarily coming out of the abdomen and into the pelvic floor and into the penis. If you look here, so the heart is up in here, okay, and it's supplying blood to the rest of the body, but how does it do that? It goes through the diaphragm, okay? So if the diaphragm is constricted um, by any means and it constricts on that blood flow, it clamps down on that blood flow, it's going to affect the rate of blood flow to the entire lower half of the body, okay, including your penis. So this is a really important part to open up. And uh, especially today, um, you know, bad posture has been a thing for a while. But, you know, in most bad posture, what we're talking about, you know, sitting, slumping over, you know, this type of thing, slumping. Well, when that happens, it constricts this whole, you know, rib cage. This whole rib cage comes forward and um, compresses down on the diaphragm as well as on the abdomen. And you've got all this fascial tissue in there, which we're going to talk about here in a second. But that fat, this connective tissue, when it stays in a shortened position for a while, it sticks to itself. So you become like stiff, you know, it's like, ah, you know, it, it, and that greatly decreases blood flow. Well, today it's even worse. You know, we've had prolonged sitting for a while, which has definitely affected our erections in a bad way. But today it's even worse over the past decade, at least where, you know, now the cell phones are everywhere. We're just bent over all the time. Well, not all the time, but a lot more than we used to be, right? Our heads bent down, our shoulders are bent forward, and we're looking at this little screen and, you know, typing on our screen. And once again, holding that flexed posture and how much it affects our core and our blood flow that gets in. Okay, really important concept to understand. And so I was talking to um, my diamond group this morning. We had a great call this morning. We were talking about um, posture and just how important that is. Uh, that's a big reason why. Blood flow, huge reason. Um, let's come this, take this down a little bit further. So if you look here, these muscles here, this is what's called the psoas, and this is the iliacus. Um, a lot of times people just combine it and they'll call it the iliopsoas. This is the main hip flexors we have in our body. And they're deep. 
They're deep into the pelvis. They're deep into the spine. And all these blood vessels run around it. Okay, so if you have tightness in this area, especially prolonged sitting, right? So think about this uh, hip being up because that's what's happening when you sit. So that means that, that this muscle here is shortened and held shortened for a long period of time. That can not only get tight, but clamp down on this blood flow that should be getting to your pelvis and your penis, right? Less blood flow. As soon as you sit down, your blood starts to slow. And the longer you sit, the more of a problem this becomes. So let's look at this a little bit deeper. So once again, here's that psoas muscle I'm talking about. And you can see how the blood flow comes all around it. And you can just imagine if this thing's tight, okay, it is restricting blood flow. And this is the main this is the main split right here that goes into your penis. So if it if it's clamping down on that, you're going to have compromised blood flow uh, to the penis, okay, which is really important. And now let's look at the fascia, so the the um, connective tissue that covers all that. Super important because this is what gets tight first, okay, not the muscles. First, the fascia will get tight. Because it's, um, it's meant to be elastic. And when you're sitting, look, for instance, we're going to use sitting. Because lots of people sit for long periods of time. And they tend to have erectile dysfunction. Like, for instance, I work with a lot of truck drivers. And part of the reason for that is they sit so long during the day. That's part of the reason. It's also, it's hard to eat well out on the road. And the sleep schedule gets messed up. I mean, there's other issues. But the prolonged sitting is a huge issue here. This fascial system starts to get really tight and clamping on itself. And once again, all of that the blood flow is going through there, right? It's going through all of this connective tissue. So if the connective tissue is tight, clamps down on the blood flow, and it's going to compromise the amount of blood getting to your pelvis and thus into your penis. Okay, So you're starting to see how this is all connected and why it's important to understand, you know, this full aspect of the core, including the diaphragm and these pelvic floor muscles, which is what we're primarily talking about today. Yeah, let's go into this next. All right, so what this is showing here is how the sacral nerves, okay, the nerves that are coming out of the sacrum, I'll show you some other pictures here in a second, but out of your tailbone, okay, coming in, this is what primarily uh, innervates the penis and the testicles. If you would like help with your unique and personal situation from us, I put a link below that will explain all the different ways that we can help you get and maintain superior stage four rock solid hardness and lasting power both permanently and naturally at any age. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips to attain elite level bedroom performance and I will see you in the next one.